So you've built an awesome table, or mostly awesome table, and although most of your joints are looking pretty good, you get to the end and you have what's called a little bit of joint snipe. Maybe a little bit of slip if you're using a track saw. Gap is gonna range anywhere from a 32nd to about an eighth of an inch. Uh, perhaps it's even a stress check in the wood and you wanna know how to fix it. So set your table saw to five degrees. Take a board of the same species that your table is made of. And what you're gonna do is essentially rip strips at five degrees, but you're gonna flip the board every time that you cut it so you end up with a really nice angled taper. Uh, you're not gonna flip the board left to right. You're basically going to pick it up and act like you're gonna fold it towards your face. So it's gonna go end over end long ways, not left to right like a book. And you end up with this nice little wedge piece of red oak for this particular table. You can use any species that your table is made out of. And you can choose to sand that down to get a super fine point. You can also adjust your table saw to get the thickness you want of your wedge. I prefer them to be super thin at the end and kind of slide them in. So you're just gonna pop some glue in. I like to kind of touch the wedge on both sides like that, fan it across, make sure the glue gets in the gap of the joint. And here's where I kind of rock it back and forth and this method, I'm just kind of sliding it in so as not to break the thin fiber on the wedge. Now I just tap it. Do not use a hammer at this stage. I use the bottom of the glue bottle. Tap it. Let it dry and cure. Uh, I would definitely let it dry for 20 minutes. Uh, I don't in this video for you, so I smash and snap. And now I'm going to take some 80 grit sandpaper or 60 grit. I don't know. Looks coarse though. And I'm going to sand this out. Now, you don't really have to worry about the excess glue and the sawdust getting into the gap there because the wood, the linear grain is actually with the linear grain on this. So you can't see a gap and you can't see a glue line. That's the beauty of a wedge. It makes the gap disappear and it's specifically great for taking stain because it's the same material as your table. There will be no variation in color. Repeat this process anywhere you have a check or a little bit of snipe, belt sand if you want. I prefer the Festool Rotex 150EQ. I don't know why I wasn't using it. And apply stain. And this is just to show you guys that once the wedge is properly put in, it'll really take stain beautifully and you won't be able to tell that you had a check or snipe in your table. And the client was incredibly happy with this one. As you can see, if you properly sand, properly finish, it lays down like glass, and so will your top coat. Okay, you guys, I hope that this video made sense. I also apologize if there's any audio weird cracks or pops. I don't know what's going on with my camera microphone. Anyways, to clarify a few tricky things, when you're sliding the board through, if this is my fence and the board's going this direction, it is imperative and when I say flip, it flips this way after each cut. You're not going to turn the board off the fence like this. You're going to keep the same fence side to the same side of the fence. So if the right side of the board is on the fence in the start, it's going to stay that way. You're just flipping it end over end so you get a true tapered wedge. Tap it in, just a little bit of glue. Snap it off after 20 minutes. Sand it flush. You're good to go. I prefer this method uh, as opposed to epoxy or wood filler. I personally think when the application is right, it is the best repair method for a check for snipe or any type of stress crack in lumber because it's structurally bonding the wood back with wood of the same species. And it will work on pretty much any species of wood with the exception of maybe Ipe or some weird uh, oil dense exotics. They don't like glue too much. But for most domestic hardwoods and furniture grade lumber, guys, give it a try. Let me know, uh, you know, pre-cut them, bring them in the field with you. It does work on base case and trim as well, but I prefer it for things like tabletops, chair repair, countertops, anything that's gonna be furniture grade, this will work to repair it. So practice, give it a try. Let me know how it works for you. If you have any questions or comments, um, I'll happily reach back out to you. Leave them below. 
If you like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. We're going to have more videos coming out for you. Best of luck with this trick, guys. I think it will really change the way of which you repair furniture and do on-site work. See ya.